some months ago, uh, passed a resolution uh, authorizing a historic district study commission uh, committee to be established and asking for uh, volunteers who might come in and sign interest indicators um, that they would be uh, part of that team that would look across the community and pick uh, areas um, that might have a, a historic uh, advantage <clears throat> if they were so designated. Uh, there are some of those, uh, potentially, uh, both in, in, in tax advantage and, and, uh, and grant construction advantage and zone advantage. Um, and so the idea, at least in part, is to affirm uh, those areas and support a positive change that could occur with some uh, you know, governmental help that is available because they are a historic district. <clears throat> I think we've had uh, seven <clears throat> significantly uh, talented people uh, come through the doors who expressed interest uh, in this opportunity <clears throat> uh, for the community. And you have them listed here, Frank Hartley, uh, M.R. Nakari, Jane Johansson, Don Jones, Ann Hoganson, Clay Didot, and Mary Lesh. <clears throat> um, those are the seven who came through. The committee's resolution initially said there could be up to nine. And we have waited probably 30, 45 days without any more folks coming through. So it seems appropriate at this point uh, to begin at least with those seven. They may generate some interest as, as the news gets out and, and certainly what they do gets covered that some others may uh, continue to express an interest and perhaps we point uh, two more as time goes on. Um, but this is a significant group to start. Um, some of the work has already been done in the past, so they'll be looking at, at what's been done, as well as the potential of other areas which uh, may uh, benefit as well. So, <clears throat> uh, you know, personally, I'm kind of excited about this group, and I know uh, Mark uh, Schwappenheiser will be kind of uh, chairing the the discussion. It's within his department of neighborhood services, so uh, we want to gear up and get a report back to the commission on areas that might be worthy of a historic district. Any comments by those appointees? Yes. Mayor, my name is Dr. Clay Dago from Ferris State, and uh, I'm honored to have been selected to your committee where my daughter Jennifer is beside me here, and we've um, been in Big Rapids for a couple of years and have come to like this place very much, and we own a, a home in what I consider to potentially be a historic district, so I've got some interest there. There's not a conflict there, I'm not <laughs> but at any rate, I, I'm, I'm glad to be here. Thank you. Well, pleased to have you, and welcome to our community, and uh, maybe in a moment or two, welcome to the District Study Committee. We'll wait and see where it takes us, and it is appreciated when people step forward and express a willingness to serve. Um, I know some of them have in other capacities as well, and it's uh, good to see them continuing to serve the city and their community, so that's appreciated. Unless there's something else we'll vote on this. Hoganson? Yes. Jane? Yes. Rothstein? Yes. Warbuck? Yes. Anderson? Yes. 